YouTube Shorts are an absolute gold mine right now. I've already gained 40k followers on TikTok, repurposed that content onto Instagram, and gained another 50k followers there. Now with YouTube's new update allowing you to post three minute long shorts, is it as easy as just repurposing that same content now onto YouTube and we'll blow up there too? If you've been waiting for a sign to start YouTube Shorts, this is it. So, if you're wondering how to make serious money with YouTube Shorts, the answer you might have been looking for is repurposing content. But unfortunately, it's no longer as simple as downloading content and re-uploading it. There is a specific method that you need to follow. So just watch this entire video and I promise by the end of it, you'll have the full blueprint for success. For me, TikTok is where it started. I gained 45,000 followers just by posting consistently and I documented this entire process. If you haven't seen that video, you can click here and go watch that. Then I took that same content, made some small adjustments and posted that on Instagram and gained 50K followers on there in just under 20 days. That video is coming soon. And now with YouTube's three minute update, date for shorts, I can finally start repurposing the same content here. This is a massive opportunity and I just want to get this across to you because right now we've got an equal playing field. There's no longer than one minute YouTube shorts on the platform. So people have now an equal chance to start posting and repurposing these longer short form videos. So if you've been struggling to gain traction on YouTube, now is the perfect chance to get in early and start posting these longer YouTube shorts before others get the chance. Now, here's the issue that everyone has when creating a faceless page. It takes a really long time to be able to create this type of content. Editing, captions, voiceovers, b-rolls, it all adds up. And if you're posting daily, it's so easy to burn out. I've done it myself so many times and that's where AI tools come in. There are a ton of AI tools that can help with this and I've actually tested quite a few on this channel. But there's one extremely popular tool that I haven't tested yet, Creo AI. And we teleported to Spain. Now, if you're interested in making money with social media, you've probably seen these guys, Daniel Beaton and Musa Mustafa. They are both making an insane amount of money posting faceless content on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. And like me, they found the complexity of the entire creation process rather annoying. But unlike me, they've actually done something about it. They built the AI tool Creo, and over the last year, they've been talking about how much money it's been making them. But the question I wanna know, is it actually any good? Let's find out. So Creo is an all-in-one AI tool that allows you to create viral faceless short-form videos. You can create all of these viral AI niches, create voiceovers for any of your videos, and instantly add viral captions, all inside this one tool. Streamlining this entire process with one tool allows you to spend less time editing, post more frequently, and enjoy more time by the pool. <laughs> now my page focuses on singing text conversations and you can't make those with Creo. But what you can do and what Moose has been sharing is that his text conversations page is that he's running a text conversations page. It's made more than $22,000 in 30 days. And he showed you how to make it in Creo, but he did it really quickly. So I'm gonna break down exactly how to do it step by step for someone with zero editing experience. So let's jump in and do that. But before we go, we need to know about these three viral things for YouTube Shorts. So when it comes to going viral on social media, there are three things you need to be focusing on. Number one is the most crucial one and it's the idea. It needs to be a proven concept, aka it's performing well on another platform and then you can repurpose that content. What do I mean? If something blew up on TikTok, nine times out of 10, if you repost it on YouTube Shorts, it's gonna perform well again. And I actually did that for my page Tech Anthems. I posted a video that got two million views on TikTok and then I reposted that to Instagram and it got 21 million views. That's the beauty of viral content. If it went viral once, it'll most likely go viral again. Next, you wanna look at retention or what it's called on social media, AVD, average view duration. This can be boosted by having high quality footage, a good hook, visual and sound hooks, as well as a solid script with a beginning, middle and a payoff so that people are rewarded for staying to the end of your content. And lastly, you need to focus on swipe rate. This is how often people swipe away from your content when it comes up on their For You page. The better your content is and the better your hook is, then the better the swipe rate will be and the more your video will get pushed in the algorithm. But all of these factors are only important if the content is good. The number one thing is it has to be a good piece of content. And then you focus on all these metrics and that is when you create a viral banger. Now I'm not just Captain Yap with zero experience talking all of this from theory without actually doing any of this myself. I'm currently growing a secret YouTube shorts page. <laughs> Your boy's cooking. And everything that I'm saying in this video, those three fundamental principles that I just mentioned are the core foundations 
foundations of my entire new YouTube shorts page and I've disclosed everything inside my school community. So if you don't wanna to wait to see that full challenge video, you should definitely go check that out. But the cool thing I always say is find something that's working and recreate it and improve on it. Use your creative brains and the editing skills that you learn on this challenge to always make the content better. And that's how you cook a viral faceless page. I just wanted to let you know, just in case you haven't seen this channel before, your boy's out in the kitchen cooking as well as dropping the recipe on here for you. AKA, I'm actually practicing what I preach. Stay locked in for that future challenge. Now, back to Kraya. Musa's telling us to make these text conversation niches and he's literally got so much social proof of $22,000 in 30 days. So how do we create this using Kraya AI, following his exact step-by-step, -step, but slowed down with a few Johnny Chaplin tweaks to make it even better. Let's jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial. Firstly, we need to find a viral text conversation script. So this is how you do it. You have to create a brand new TikTok account and then follow 10 text conversation pages. And I'll give you an example of 10 that you could follow here. And then go onto our accounts and sort by most popular. And then you're gonna take the top three most popular videos from their page. And that is three times 10, 30 days worth of content for your text conversations page. Now, if you wanna go a little bit extra like me, keep everything super efficient and visual, then I save everything in a Google sheet. And then I have 30 days worth of ideas ideas and then I put all the scripts in there and I'm ready to go for that account. So as always guys there's a Google Doc down below with all the resources and the step-by-step -step method on how to do this. So step one we're going to go into our Google sheet and we're going to sort the videos by most views. So I create a column on the right hand side which I call views and then you can literally use the spreadsheet function to sort by A to Z and you want to sort it by obviously the highest number of views. This is because I have an unproven theory that if your first YouTube short is good YouTube actually boosts it. I have no evidence to back it up. It's just a common trend that I've seen a lot of people talking about YouTube shorts, their first YouTube short gets boosted. So now you have your most viral video, it's time to jump into Cray AI and actually make this. So welcome back to Cray Johnny. On the left hand side, we're gonna click fake text videos and then we're actually going to use the AI script feature. So if you go over and click AI script and they've got an insanely good feature where it says allows you to copy existing video. So we're gonna go over to our spreadsheet, we're gonna grab the URL of the most viral video, then we're gonna control C this and then control V and paste it in there. And when you go and you click generate script, this is basically going to transcribe the video and then the AI is, is going to analyze the sender and the receiver automatically for you. And as you can see, boom, it's done. So now I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet and then I'm going to grab the URL. I'm actually going to open it in TikTok and I'm going to do a split screen. This allows me to one check to make sure that the video is correct and that the AI actually got everything right. But also two, look to see if it added any pictures, any sound effects and anything that actually we think boosted the video's performance so that we make sure to include it in our video. So let's go through and do that. Hi, number neighbor. Who is this? Your number neighbor. Your number is the same as mine, but one digit. And I'll speed through this for you guys. Okay, so we found one mistake. So let's quickly go into the script and change that. It said the, but we need to say theater exclamation mark. So we've gone through and added that. And then I'm gonna go through and speed and do the rest of the video. So now we've gone through and checked the entire script and it's copied it word for word, which is great. But we don't want to just steal content here. We want to use that as a template and a structure that then we go in and add our own tweaks. We're not villains on here. I'm not teaching you guys to go and just steal content, but just steal the story and then go and make it funnier. <laughs> and trust me, there's so many easy things that we could drop into the script. So let's go in and do step two, actually make the script our own. So first easy change we can make is go through and change all the names. So I'm going to change the male name in this storyline to Johnny and I'm going to go and then change Emily to Abigail. And so you can fly through and make all of these changes. Make sure to obviously not miss something or else it'll ruin the whole script. And then we'll just quickly double check. And like this story, the name of the female changes twice. So make sure obviously you don't again miss that. So I'll change it to Lucy once this guy finds out her real name. Next, we can go through and actually make some funnier changes. So for example, I know your best friend, Sean Combs, aka Puff Daddy. And then you can talk about random things. Like I know where your grandparents live. I'm going to change it. So I know where your alpacas live. And then just change a bunch of the details of the story your birthday was 69 days ago just classic low hanging fruit just to add a little extra lol to the text conversation so this is honestly the easiest and quickest way to go through <laughs> there was a fire at the comedy club because the jokes were so good <laughs> 
damn. But yeah, anyway, that's literally how you go through and change the script. So now we've changed all the text in the story and made sure to include Diddy in it at least once, ready to go in and add the images. So let's do that. So we wanna scroll to the bit where we wanna add an image and then you just wanna go and click the plus on the right hand side. So this is the one we want. So we're gonna click add and then here under content, we wanna change that to image and then we wanna click upload image. Now we need to go find our image. So earlier when we watched the storyline, we knew that the first picture was an American house at night. So I'm gonna just go to Google and search it and just find a royalty free image that I can use and that looks like good. So this looks like a good, good image. So I'm gonna screenshot this and now I'm going to actually search my second picture, which is a photo of a bedroom door from the inside out. So now I'm, I found one, this is perfect, where the killer is gonna pretend to be outside her bedroom door. So I'm gonna save this one as well. Then we're going to Creo, we'll click browse file. Then we'll go to downloads or recents because I just screenshot that one. And then we're gonna add the American house and then click use image. And then that will upload the image in line with that chat on the left hand side there. And then if we scroll in the text, we can see it's added in the text. So then I'm gonna scroll down and find the bit where the door, so I don't mean the front door. Again, click text image, upload file, and then we're gonna do the same process, go to downloads and then upload the image. So now we've done the images, it's time to obviously make a few little tweaks. We wanna change obviously the name of the person in the context, which in the storyline, it just has a bunch of hashtags. So we'll just change it to that. And we've also got to change the contact photo. So I'll go in and show you how to do that. So on the left here, we're just going to use four hashtags. So if you want to be able to have the native iOS contact icon with a gray background and the letter in the middle, I've got a Canva template down below, which allows you to make this for whatever letter you need. So now we can click image and upload, and then we can now upload the one I just created earlier. So now we click next and we can choose the theme that we want. So I'm gonna choose the white theme and then we can choose the background footage. And I'm gonna choose this Minecraft parkour, I think, after looking at all of them. I think it has the best colors. And then we choose this one and we click next. And then here we get a choice to choose our voices. So there's a bunch of different voices on Creo and I'm just gonna play a few of them here. Creo is an AI platform to create viral videos. Our distrust is very- Adam, This is the Dan heard. Dan and they've literally got a bunch of them, SpongeBob. So you've got a bunch of options to choose from. And again, it just basically consolidates everything that you used to have to do before, all into one tool. You used to have to transcribe over here using this one and then put it all into CapCut and then get the Eleven Labs voiceover and then do all of this, whereas Creo literally has everything streamlined into one platform. So I'm gonna choose the voice Brian for the male and I'm gonna choose the girl as Jessica, mainly because this is very similar to the original video and again, maybe the voices might have helped to actually sell the storyline and make it get 9.8 million views. So now I've picked the voices that I want for the narration. I've got the background footage. I've got the theme. I've got the script. I've got everything ready to go. I'm going to go in and I'm going to click generate video. And then Creo is going to basically assemble everything automatically for you. So I'll join you when it's done. So once the video has finished generating, we can go in and customize it further. So I'm gonna add a border radius for rounded corners. The scene height is the number of lines in each text conversation, so you don't want it to be too big. So I'm gonna select six. We're gonna add the animated text conversations and we're gonna add a shadow, just cause I think it looks a little bit more professional. Who is this? Let's watch this back. Who is this? Your number neighbor. Your number is the same as mine, but one digit higher. <laughs> this looks sick to be fair and literally barely did any work. Okay, so if we click on messages, we can actually go in and add sound effects. We can click the iPhone notification message and we can also add the send and the receive ones. I think it's really good to add an iPhone notification at start because you need a visual and an audio hook to get people to scroll start. And then I think it looks good when you have the iPhone receive sound when you actually have a photograph sent in the conversation. So let's go do that. So for the first message, we're gonna do the iPhone receive notification and it sounds like this. Receive Who is this? And Your number text neighbor. receive. So now I'm going to show you quickly how to regenerate one of the texts if you didn't like how it sounds. So if you go over to that, you can click regenerate and then you can actually change what it says if you'd like and it will regenerate that tiny section of voiceover. So now let's listen to it. Hi, number neighbor. And then once you're happy with it, you can click save and that's done. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly go and just adjust all the sound effects and add them for every single message that I think will make sense. And then I want to scroll down in the text conversation and find where the images were sent so that I can add the receive sound effect because I think this works really well. So I'm going to click the receive sound and I'm going to 
probably leave that as loud because there's going to be no red out that on that section and then i'm going to scroll down to find the second picture and do the same thing iphone receive sound now we're almost done we just need to add one more thing which is crucial to making these text conversations go viral the music and Crea has a bunch of stock music and sound effects that you can use so let me show you how to do that so on the left hand side here we'll click music and then we're going to go on stock music and explore more and then we're going to scroll down to the sad one and i'm going to use this car accident one so you drag and drop it onto the timeline so now we want to adjust the volume of the song to around 10 percent and then on the timeline we just want to end the actual song before the video ends and that's it so now that's everything done let's export the video and see what it looks like to export the video we just got to click the blue export button in the corner we'll call it text conversation and then we'll click export video and now it's going to quickly export the video okay so now it's done we can click view video and it's going to open it in browser so we can watch it back number neighbor who is this your number neighbor your number is the same as mine but one digit higher i just wanted to say hello and that you're awesome what's your name it doesn't really matter i hope you have a good day my name is johnny nice to meet you johnny my friends call da. okay so i'm happy with that so i'm gonna click download and then we'll watch the full video in a second. So let me open up the downloaded video. Damn, <laughs> this is honestly insane. Literally AI tools have got so good that this would be something that you'd take forever to create. And now you can basically create the entire thing in like five minutes or less. If you want to go and do all the extra edits, you can just literally let AI do everything and it will literally take you 30 seconds. So this is honestly crazy. And that's it. Oh my God, please don't hurt me. So that's it. You've created your first text conversation video using the AI tool Creo. If you want to try Creo for yourself, it'll be the top link in the description. So if you followed the exact steps I took in this video, you now have 30 viral videos that you can recreate doing the same method that I just showed you. And you can post this on YouTube Shorts and on TikTok. And this guy on Discord was able to get to 100,000 subscribers in 30 days using an AI tool to create text conversations. So that's a wrap on the video. I hope you guys have found it valuable. If you have, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. Go check out my school community. My boy Ian just made £250 in his first 14 days on TikTok with the methods inside there. And I've just dropped six courses in there on exactly how I'm making money with social media. If you want to check that out, it'll be linked down below. That's a wrap on this one. I'll see you in the next one. Your boy's gone skis.